Welcome back, everybody. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. So I wanted to explain um, the, the rolling stock that I used for that video that you just saw. These are the primary uh, actors in that video, uh, the boxcar and the uh, locomotive. They're in GN15 scale, uh, which means is that they're G scale, um, for me, it's uh, 124th scale, and so it's half inch equals a foot, and it's riding on HO scale um, mechanism. So it's gauge for HO, uh, representing a 15 inch uh, scale uh, gauge uh, track. So this would be, you know, industrial type of uh, uh, railroads, not. And what's interesting about the, this locomotive and the, uh, the boxcar is that they both have sound decoders. In the engine, there is a Tsunami 2. It's by, made by Soundtracks. And here is the, the digital decoder that I wired myself. It is a lot of wires, uh, which could look very intimidating. But really, it's very, it's very simple. You have... Uh, a red wire uh, uh, connected to one side of the, uh, the wheels and a black wire to the other side of the wheels, which then collects the current from the track and it goes into this decoder. And the decoder is picking up the signals from your base station and interpreting that information um, to electricity that then goes from other wires to the motor. And one of the additional things about this um, setup that I have, I have also added a keep alive capacitor, which uh, the Soundtracks people called current keepers. Um, so it just plugs in right here. You plug it in, you don't have to solder, you just plug it in. Um, then if you want to get more fancy, uh, one of the wires uh, one of the colored wires goes to the front headlight and the blue wire goes uh, on the other end of the headlight so you can control the front headlight and then you can also uh, connect it to the rear headlight. And then I have, if you have seen my previous uh, video, it has, um, this one, this engine has a cab light and a step light for safety. And you will also see that it's connected to a speaker. Right here is the speaker enclosure. Inside is a speaker uh, as large as I could get. And I've made my own enclosure to make sure that the sound travels out the front grill. Uh, here's the grill. And I poked a bunch of holes. Uh, and so the sound is very, very good. Uh, this uh, this engine cover is uh, connected by little magnets right here, very small magnets, and uh, they uh, are magnetized and will grab onto this metal uh, siding. So that's the engine. Now the boxcar is a uh, also a sound uh, has a soundtrack uh, sound decoder it's called a sound car and let me show you the pickups i had to create my own uh pickups out of brass which i then uh, have it rubbing against these wheels and then you'll see the wire going in it's just like the locomotive you have your black wire here and then I use uh, green wire for for the other uh, for what should have been the red side. Um, no matter, uh, the sun car wiring is a lot simpler, but it's the same principle: uh, black wire and uh, red wire, uh, sending uh, uh, picking up electrical signals from the track and going into the um, sound decoder. Here is the sound car decoder, which is uh, glued to, or you could use a double stick tape. It's glued to the roof of this uh, box car uh, because one of the features is, is when you uh, couple the engine to the box car, um, 
you have to consist it. And you don't need to do any complicated uh, connections of, uh, of the engine to the boxcar to get it to work uh, in a synchronized manner. All you do is you take um, a, pair, a, a, a magnet. I just attached it to this uh, telescoping antenna uh, that I bought off of eBay. And then you just run it across the top of the, the roof, uh, a little closer than this, and you will hear the, uh, uh, the a sound effect like a uh, engaging or disengaging of the brake. And that will tell you that your boxcar has been uh, consistent with the engine. So no complicated programming of your throttle to get them to work together. So again, there is the, uh, the sound decoder and it's got, of course, lots of wires like the other one. And it also has a keep alive, which uh, Soundtrax calls a current keeper and it just plugs in. So nothing complicated, no soldering. Um, and here's the speaker. I have to still create an enclosure for it so the sound is just going out the bottom. And what's cool about this is with this uh, sound car decoder, uh, you can use it for, like I do, for uh, regular boxcar sounds. If this were a mechanical reefer, like uh, uh, that uh, would uh, uh, transport uh, frozen foods, like uh, frozen meat, um, you can also select, uh, based uh, depending on the programming that you do yourself, uh, you can uh, program it to have a mechanical uh, refrigeration unit uh, of various kinds, uh, or if this were a caboose, you can also attach uh, the wiring to rear lights so that it can have that rear end dev uh, flickering device, or you can also get it to uh, create uh, whistles that are common for cabooses. Um, so this is the, uh, the box car, and they both emit sounds. And together, as you saw in the video, they gave you a very uh, realistic sound, like the um, squealing uh, wheels um, this, and the, uh, the application of the brakes, which uh, works in coordination with the engine. So once you pr uh, press F11 on the engine, it, it starts uh, having the brake uh, sound on both the engine and the the car that is equipped with the sound car decoder. As you can see, sound decoders can provide you with a lot of realism uh, when you operate your trains so that you could get the look and feel of not only the trains moving uh, and making the engine sounds, but you can also add brake squeal, uh, the wheels uh, rubbing against the, the railroad tracks, the clickety-clack, um, the various uh, engine noises, all working in, in unison when you are switching a siding to give you a lot of realism. And as you can see, this is in GN15, but this is applicable to HO scale, N scale, O scale. You, you run the gamut, and it's not complicated to wire together and get it to work properly. Um, you can leave it as is when you get it out of the package in terms of programming, or if you're uh, a little braver, you can start doing a little bit of rudimentary programming to get the kind of uh, specific prototype sounds that you would want to uh, come out of your model. With that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.